Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's about afternoon. Anyway, today we are going to take you on another bus build adventure. This time, it's a little bit different. Um, as you see, we have done a lot of inside work already. But today, today we're working on the outside. So let's go see what Dustin's up to. Making a roof rack. <laughs> All right, so I guess I should tell you guys where we are today, which we are at an amazing place that we've been staying at, but where we are working on the bus is a place called Bare Metal Fabrications with our How's it going, Justin. guys? So tell us what you do. Well, I do all sorts of fabrication. Um, I'm mainly into like residential type custom ornamental work, but we do it all here. We do a lot of uh, heavy equipment repair and um, just general fabrication. So like today we're working on the, the nice mint green bus and uh, happy to help out. So we're working on a solar rack. And these are, thank you Preston. And these are our beautiful solar panels. So right now, Dustin is cutting it. <laughs> So as Dustin and I mentioned, we started another round of 75 hard, which you have to drink a gallon of water in the day. This is where I'm at. And it's about 12.30 p.m. I've got a ways to go. So, bottoms up. Yeah, yeah real quick weld it out, I guess. Yeah, um, would you weld everything? Well, unless you want to you test fit one of your solar panels real quick. That might be the smartest fucking thing we came up with all day. All right. You want to go over yours first? You can get the cardboard on there too, so. Yeah. I'm in. Fits like a glove. So why why is this one on the bottom? So the rear deck boards are going to run, and sit, they'll sit down in here. Okay. And then if we ran them vertically, then it hits your deck boards. Oh, gotcha. So this is just kind of middle support for your deck boards and for our fat asses. Yeah. Who you call him fat? This guy. <laughs> and then we'll have a deck here too. There'll be a small deck right here to walk on, so that you can clean like a service panel. Okay. Yep. Wow. Still alive though. Still alive enough that we can fuck pick it up. Yeah. So I'm thinking we get a foot. Now we're going to get into some of the pretty artistic things of the metal. So Preston is drawing up some stuff. Some and this, stuff, I like that. Some stuff. <laughs> and this is all for the riff rack, correct? Correct. Yeah, this will be our mount, our mount tabs. Um, and then we'll be able to put a hole anywhere we want so it lines up with the rivets that are on top of the bus. Nice. So everything on here mm -hmm. works off of a, a coordinate system. Okay. So you have zero, zero right here. And yeah. It goes up and out. So if you see, it's just a huge grid. Oh. Like the more you keep going, here's 116 feet. Fancy. So.
you're about to hand me the back. Alright, you want to flip it for you? I would go sideways. Okay, or no. So, like... Let's take it out on the part up there. We can lay it down. Okay. Yeah, then just give me the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're headed, yeah, because then that's the front. Okay, so you can set it on top of the ladder, Preston. So, we got the solar rack completely finished. It's all welded up. The feet are on. It's ready to go on the bus. But first, we must put the paint on. I got the deck boards today at Home Depot. I know, my favorite place to go. I got six cans of paint because we have another project coming at you soon. But first, we should probably finish this, eh? Alright guys, completely painted, completely dry, completely ready for the next step. I'm putting a bunch of butyl tape on and it probably doesn't make sense, but I'm about to drill nine holes in the roof of our bus. This butyl tape will help seal it, but it'll also make it kind of like it's rubber mounted. So it'll take a lot of the vibration out of the actual roof rack itself and hopefully it'll help keep the whole situation a little bit quieter as we frolic down the road to the beautiful sunset or sunrise or horizon wherever we shall go. Moral of the story is, we don't got a fucking clue. We hope the butyl tape does something. I guess we'll find out. All right, so I know we don't have the roof rack on yet, but let me just give you a little glimpse into what this beautiful piece is gonna look like. Yeah, vlog? Vlog, is that you? Is this a road trip adventure vlog? Hey, I gotta let you go. I'm sitting on top of my rooftop deck that really ain't on the roof. What's up, guys? What you think of this rooftop deck that's on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, it's a work in progress, man. I'm getting there. I just had to enjoy a second of it before we got it on top. All right guys, so we're drilling half inch holes and I'm actually using 5 16 riv nuts. Uh, comes with its own tool, it secures to the bus and then we can just put a normal butt bolt and washer through it to hold this bitch on. Uh, first time ever using them. I'm nervous, Tanya says we're good, so fuck it, we'll find out. Each one's supposed to have 500 pounds per bolt pull-out power. So with nine bolts, we'll have 4,500 pounds of pull-out power. Should be good. Good morning. What's up, guys? So as you can already tell, we have done so much stuff on the bus already and we're just starting to try to wrap some of the things up um, before we have something coming up. <laughs> yeah, so we're back at Bare Metal Fab. Um, we are doing something pretty custom today that we haven't really seen on any other bus. And in order to do that, first things first, we're not gonna tell you what we're doing. We're gonna show you as we go, but I need to cut the exhaust off. It's a little bit scary. Here we go. All right, so we have Preston here who is cutting off our bumper. And 
then this is our bus constantly under construction. Foam everywhere, smoky in here. <sighs> the life. Anyway, uh, so I am going to whip Dustin and I up some lunch. It is noon and that is when we get to break our fast. So we are having leftover vegetable soup and some of my favorite Morningstar Farms veggie burgers. These ones are cheeseburger, which are pretty freaking legit. So I'm gonna get to cooking. Fire! Stop, drop, and roll. Fire. I haven't even started cooking yet. Fire. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I didn't realize it was going that bad there. Fire. Just. I'm holding it. Just push the button. I'm pushing it. That should be cleared now. Carbon monoxide. Clear it. Yeah. Should be good. You just let it know that you had a fire. Jesus. You're trying to kill me in here. Sorry, bro. I didn't realize it was getting smoky in here. It's okay. Alright, so as you guys can probably see, we have torn apart the bumper and we are actually redoing our entire bumper piece. And this is actually what we are putting on with these drawers that will pull out and they will hold some extra storage. And we're actually building another box in the center so that way we have a place to keep our spare tire. All right, so this piece here is going to go on top of our bumper. Breston has custom made it to fit. All right, everyone. So last night we left off with getting the face put on the back part of the bumper. We still have quite a bit of work to do, but first I'm gonna turn this into this. All right, guys, so this morning we are going to start in on the side of the bumper. Preston's making some, or welding in some brackets now just to start holding her up. Starting to look like a Mad Max ass bumper if I've ever seen one. That's for sure. <laughs> so what are you doing now? Exhaust. So we had to cut the old exhaust because it was too long. Um, in the beginning you've seen we should cut the whole thing in completely off. So now we're getting it fitted for the right size. Turned down for what? So we got the back of that one done. So that's caged in. And now we are working on the doors and the hinges. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so now we are starting right, to work go. on building our cool. ladder. So we have a way to get up to the top of our awesome mm -hmm. rooftop deck. That'd be perfect. That'd be. And I don't give a fuck about them. Cast Every foot. Yep. And I. While the guys are out there building this amazing bumper area, I am going to take some time to use my artistic abilities and I am going to repaint this sign. I'm gonna make it match um, the exterior of our bus. And um, yeah, Dustin's mom actually made that sign for us. And it was at our very first home that we have ever lived in and we have had it stick with us since. And so now I'm just gonna church it up a little bit and make it match everything else and go from there. So we have been very busy bees lately. I guess I should say mostly Dustin has been busy. Um, I did a little bit of my part, but he's done a majority of it. Are you guys ready to see the amazing progress we have done so far. Are you ready? 
Here it is. Check this out. So we have the ladder to take us up to our rooftop, but this, this magnificent piece is on the back. And of course, we put spread love, but we have these awesome drawers. They will now pull out, allow us to have amazing storage space. Another storage area, which in here we will have our spare tire. And one more drawer. Talk about storage. Storage is the name of the game. Storage is the name of the game. And then of course, my part in this whole build process was this beautiful Johnson sign that took me, oh, I don't know, maybe two, three hours to paint. So with that, what an epic weekend of another epic build and a huge thank you out to Bare Metal Fab for helping us out, building the most Mad Max, baddest bumper, roof rack, ladder system that we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And we are freaking excited to spend some sunrises and sunsets on top. We're excited to store some good things in our boxes. And we're just excited to travel spread the country, love. see the world <laughs> and spread freaking love. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to share some love in the comments below. And if you'd like to see notifications from us, click on that notification bell. You'll get a notification for every Sunday when we post our newest videos. And with one that, last thing. Oh. I forgot to show you. We also made one custom little piece for the inside that makes us every day remember that when we leave the bus, our goal is to spread love. See ya.